So, ayan, have time with our God, have time with your God, have time with our Lord, no? Kasi all we are doing here is, of course, for the glory and praise of His name. And, um, no, you want to be licensed for you to share the knowledge that you have, for you to inspire people. So, I think it is righteous to to turn back, no? To give everything back to our Creator. Okay? So, ayan. Sige, so I think uh, we are now good to start because it's already 7.17 and we are just going to answer the 1 to 15. And there are 14 people who are watching and I think this is a good number to start with because we are just in a group. Okay, so let's start number 1. Get your materials, number 1. I will read a question. Of course, you are going to um, see there your materials also. I hope that you have it now. Number one, if Sarah, if Sarah can run 100 meters in 8 seconds, how many meters can she run in 12 seconds? O, ulitin ko po, si Sarah daw, kaya niyang um, tumakbo ng isang daang metro sa walong segundos. How many meters can she run in 12 seconds? Sa walong segundos, kaya niyang um, tumakbo ng 100 meters. Sa da, uh, labing dalawang segundos daw, gaano kalayo yung kaya niyang marating? Kaya niyang matakbo. Uh, sige, sa so ganito yan. This is a question of ration proportion. Okay? So, again, what are the givens? Uh, 100, no? Si, okay. Um, 8 and 100. Okay? And then, of course, um, we are going to use an equation. Uh, what is given? What is the other given for the other side of the equation? 12. And uh, the time for the 12 seconds, uh, is it given or not? Not okay, so we are just going to put an n here, or you can use any variable x, y, z, a, b, c, d, e, f, g. Okay, so bakit ganito yung equation natin, sir? Kasi this is a question of ratio and proportion. Okay, so you can see here na um, Sarah can run in 8 seconds. Um, yes, Sarah can run in 8 seconds with a distance of 100. And of course, if it is 12 seconds, how long or how far can Sarah run? That's a question. Okay, so of course, what we are going to do here is just multiply the means and the extremes, correct? Okay, so these are the means. Chara, what, what do you think is the answer? 1,200. Am I right? Okay, and equals, of course, these are the means and these are the extremes. A times N equals 8. N, uh, 8, N, ayun. Again, what is N? Can you use any variable? Yes, okay? X, Y, Z. And then, so, this is 8 N. So, what we're going to do now? Well, we want to find out what is N. So, we have to divide this by 8, okay? So, of course, you have to be equal. You have to use the same number in dividing the, 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 um, number in the opposite of, uh, side of the equation, so, to, uh, 1,200 divided by 8, that will yield how much? 150. Am I correct? 150 equals, of course, this will be cancelled. So, this is letter N. 150 was letter N. Uh, yeah, yeah. Is, are your answer? Is your answer is correct? Look at the choices. Meron ba dyang 150? Meron wala. Meron wala o oh, meron si letter C. So, for number 1, the correct answer is letter C. Am I, am I still live? Am I still speaking? Baka po na wala na po tayo dyan. At um, hindi, ko, hindi nyo na po nasundan yung mga sinasabi ko. So, uulitin ko po. Number one question. Pag ganito ang question sa board examination, if Sarah can run in 100 meters, um, just get the relevance, okay? Hindi po ganito yung given ay bibigay, pero alam nyo po yung proseso, mas maganda po, okay? So, again, if Sarah can run 100 meters in 8 seconds, how many meters can she run in 12 seconds? So, ito po yung given. Ration, proportion, tayo. In 8 seconds, you can run 100 meters. 12 seconds, you can run with, ah, it's not given. That's a question. So, we have to use variable, okay? Letters, okay? To be exact, no? Para po sa mga hindi math majors, ayan, letters po. Represent by letter, no? So, 8 times... Okay, so 8 times um, N and then 100 times 12 that will yield 
1,200 equals 8 and kaya po nagkaroon tayo ng 1,200 here and then 8 and here because these are the extremes and these are the means. So in more, um, in getting the answer when you speak of ratio and proportion, you're just going to multiply its means. Okay, the means are the inside terms and the extremes, of course, the excess. Uh, x, 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 malayo, di ba? Malayo na kayo ng x mo. Dasi nasa, nasa, napunta na siya ng, nasa iba, di ba? So, 8 and n are two opposite. Two opposite. Uh, I mean, there are extremes, there are the outside terms, okay? Okay, so, here it goes. The correct answer for number one is letter C. Letter C. Uh, did you get the correct answer? Sige, titingnan ko muna kung may nakakuha ba ng tamang sagot. Uh, ayan. Sige nga, tingnan natin kung may nakakuha ba. Maayong gabi. Oh, ayan. Um, ayan, Ma'am Ara, okay, you can just message them privately and tell them to join us here because of course uh, we are private here. So, can we tell them to be here also? Okay, pwede nyo pong i-invita yung mga self-reviewing na friend ninyo na mag-message sa akin, baka maka-join sila. Makikita din naman nila itong mga live streaming natin. At uh, nandito lang po ito, so ma-review po nila at makita nila mga sagot sa mga katanungan. Tama po ba? Okay, so your, is your answer, are your answers correct? Na? Tama po ba yung mga sagot ninyo? Letter C number 1, do you have the answer now? Sumagot po kayo. Kung um, nahihirapan kayo sa mathematics, makinig po kayo ng mabote. Number 1 is letter C. Okay? This is the solution. 150 ang sagot. Okay. Ayan. Okay. I hope that you are taking down notes of the solution. Okay? But of course, no? Madali lang po talaga itong mathematics general education. I also don't like math. But of course, um, kailangan natin itong pag-aralan dahil this is part of the gen ed. Okay? So, Pag-usapan naman natin itong number 2. Handa na po ba kayo? Number 2 na tayo. Again, you can tell your self-review friend to be here. Join us here. Tell them to message me. Okay, so that I can ask her or him if he or she is self-reviewing. Good evening, Mama Rilin. Again, number 1 is letter C. So, let's have number 2. Let me read a question. Number 2. Listen to me. The number 2 question is already here. Find the area, ayan, area na ang hinahanap, guys. Find the area of a triangle if its height is 3 and its base is 4. Uh, paano ba ito sagutin? Again, area of a triangle. So, you have to use a formula here. What is the area of a triangle? A equals 1 half BH. Okay, so again, number 2. What is being asked? The area. What is the area of a triangle? So, we have to use the formula um, area of the triangle. So, it's... um. A equals 1 half BH. Okay. This is the area of the triangle, correct? This is the formula of the area of a triangle. Now, what to do next? Of course, what are the given? What are the given? What is B? What is B and what is H? And then, the height is? The height is? Um, 3. So, all you have to do is to substitute them into the given variables in the formula. Okay, so letter A, so equals 1 half B, B. Okay, so we have to substitute B from number 4. Triangle in the given um, height is 3 and the base is 4 is 6. Uh, is um, 6 can be found in the choices. Is 6 can be found in the choices. Look at the choices. Letter B, okay? So, number 2 is letter B. So, this is the only formula that you have to remember when you are going to find the area of a triangle. Again, if you find if you are to find the area of a triangle, this is the formula. Okay? So, ayan. Nakita nyo po ba yung letter B dyan? Number 6 ang tamang sagot. So, are we good? Oh, nakasabay pa po ba? Hindi pa po ba sumakit yung mga ulo ninyo? Huwag po kayong mag-alala. Pasasakitin natin yan. Okay? So, that is for number 2. The correct answer is letter B. Ayan. Okay. Next week, we'll have social science. I will make, I will type the, the questions that you are to answer for this week. So, Monday po, ipopost ko po yung material pagkatapos ko po siyang gawin. Okay? Again, you can invite your friends to join us here. You can tell them to join us here. 
pa, pag message nyo lang po siya sa akin dahil hindi po sila po i-comment rito dahil hindi nila po ito makikita. Okay? So, number three po tayo. What is the slope? Oh, ah, kinakabahan na ako rito. Lord, please help me. What is the slope of a line? Oh, what is the slope of a line? 2x minus 3y equals 12. Naku po. Okay? So, paano ba ito isolve? Is this about the y equals mx plus b? Oh, parang ganito yun, di ba? Y equals m x plus b. Tama po ba? Okay, so, again, anong hinahanap? Slope. So, from this given equation, which is the slope? Is it the b? No. Is it the m? Yes, okay? So, this is the slope. So, ito yung hahanapin natin, okay? So, now, what is the given? What is the given? The given here is 2x minus 3y equals 12, okay? 2x minus 3y equals 12. All you have to do, guys, is to um, follow the equation. So, the equation says here that we are going to find the slope. So, therefore, you have to transfer terms here. For you to, re uh, for, for you to leave the letter y here, okay? So, what to do? First, what to do? You have to transfer... 2x, okay? So, negative 3y equals, okay, ayan, 12, I wait. Ang may x, siya yung slope. So, it's negative 2x plus 12, okay? So, do you follow? Sige, tingnan nyo po. Ang inaanap dito ang slope. So, kailangan natin itong i-follow na formula na ito para... Para makuha natin yung sagot, okay? So, to, to, to follow this formula, we have to rearrange the given. The given is 2x minus 3y equals 12. What to do first? You have to rearrange. So, to rearrange, you have to transfer um, given, um, ang tawag dito, given numbers, no? Give, the given that is not included in this side of the equation should be transferred to other side. So, what is not included in this side? 2x because the y here is present, okay? So, look at here. So, what are we going to do now? We have to find the slope. But, you cannot find the slope if um, this side here has a, a, has a numerical term, no? Ito yung number 3. So, kailangan natin siyang um, kunin. So, what to do first? We have to, we have to what? We have to make this first positive, okay? So, how to make this positive? We just have to multiply this one by what? Negative 1, positive 1. Negative 1. Okay. So, of course, um, sila po lahat. So, negative times negative, of course, that will yield 3y. Okay. Negative times negative, 3y. Okay. Negative times negative, that will also be 2x. And then, of course, plus, of course, negative 1 times positive 12, that will yield to negative 12, okay, wait for a while, negative 12, negative 12, oh yeah, okay, so now, can we now identify the, the slope, not yet, because we still have a numerical coefficient here, so we have to, um, what do you call this one, we have to omit this one, okay, we have to remove this one by how, by dividing this by 3. Can we now remove this? Yes. But of course, you have to be fair. You have to be fair in the other side of the equation by, ayan, putting 3 here. Okay? So now, can we now find the slope? Wait, let's perform the operation first. Cancel here, okay? And that will only leave y, okay? Equals, of course, 2x over 3, okay, minus 4, why? 12 divided by 3 equals 4, copy the operation, okay, now, look at the formula here, this is the formula of the slope, now look at our um, solution here, can we now find the slope, can we now find the slope, yes, what is the slope, we'll see letter M, now tingnan nyo po, kung sino ang na fall under the letter M here, is this the one? Yes. So, therefore, this is the correct answer. You look at the choices. Nandiyan ba sa choices? Okay, number three, number three, number three. 
two-third. Oh, di tama yung sagot natin. Okay? So, ulitin natin. To, in finding the slope, you have to, uh, in finding the slope, you have to remember this formula. Kapag ang tanong po, slope, ito po yung formula. Tandaan nyo lang po ito. Okay? And then, the given is 2x minus 3y equals 12. And to find the, the, the slope, of course, you have to rearrange them in order for you to, to properly um, solve for the slope. So, what to do first? You have to transfer um, given items. I mean, given numbers. Okay? So, 2x will be here. And then, then um, of course, that will leave the negative 3y here. But, of course, you have to make this positive. Because, of course, you are going to look at here and uh, y here is positive. So, you have to uh, multiply by negative 1 to make this one positive. Okay? The same as follows with this one. And, of course, you have to perform operations also here because, to be fair, no? To be fair with the, with the one that you multiplied in this side of the equation. Okay? So, 3y and then that will um that will leave us 3y equals 2x minus 12 okay 2x minus 12 now here okay so now look at here since we are just finding y here you have to remove you have to omit number 3 by dividing 3 okay so you will cancel that one of course you have to be fair you have to put 3 also here and then that will leave y here equals 2 over 3 2 third x minus because 12 divided by 3 that will leave you 4 clear malina yes and then of course in finding the slope since this is the slope again remember the slope is letter m the slope is letter M. Everybody say, the slope is letter M. Very good. Letter M. So, where is letter M here? Two-third. And two-third is the, is the slope. Oh, did you get the correct answer? Who among you here got the correct answer? Ayan, pag hindi mo nakuha, makinig ka lang po. Ayan, wala pong sumasagot-sagot kasi alam nila na, ayan, mahihirapan at, <laughs> huwag po kayo mahiyang mag-sagot uh, na, you just have to let yourselves commit mistake. Huwag po kayo mag sa mathematics. Huwag po kayo mag sa mathematics, okay? We will do our best to teach that one to, to make you familiar with all the givens in the let. Okay? So, eto lang po yung kung paano i-solve. Pero huwag po kayo mag -alala. Huwag po kayo mag -alala. Kasi kahit walang calculator doon, ayan. Gagawin natin ang lahat para makuha natin yung gen ed na yan. Okay, let's go to number 4. Nakuha na po ba ito? Ayan, isulat nyo na lang po dyan. That is for number 3. Number 3 is the correct, the correct answer for number 3 is, um, letter, what letter is 2 third? Oh, 2 third. Kayo na po bahala dyan. Okay. Again, um, uh, tatangin ko lang ko. Ayos lang po ba yung explanations ko? Malinaw po ba? Malinaw po ba yung pagkaka-explain ko, guys? Baka po, um, nalilito yung iba. You can just react, ha? You can just react or you can just replay this one so that you will be able to follow. Okay? Sige. So, malinaw naman po ba yung explanation ko sa bawat item? Malinaw po ba? Please, I want an affirmation. Sige po. Just say yes or just uh, say clear po, sir. Ayan. Sige po. Mm-hmm. We are now heading to number four. We are now heading to number four. Okay lang, sir. Oh, sige, okay lang. Ah, sige. Ah, kahit hindi ako math major, kaya ko pa ituro yung gen ed. Huwag po kong mag-alala, no? Kaparehas nyo lang po akong mahina sa mathematics. We will do our best to help each other. May mga math major dito na alam nila yung mga formula. Bahala sila sa buhay nila. No, tayo mga gen ed, memorize lang natin yan. But of course, we have to know the process also. No, bahirap naman po yung puro na lang tayo um, uh, <laughs> try and, trial and error sa ating choices. No, dahil na pag may malalaking given, hindi natin kayang isolve, wala tayong formula, eh, mahihirapan po tayo. Okay? So, now, number 4 po tayo. Basahin natin yung question ninyo. Number 4, number 4. Do you have the choice? Uh, do you have your items there? you have your materials? Please uh, make sure that you have your materials po, ha? We are now heading to number 4. Am I still visible? Okay. If a die, uh, namatay, di ba? If a die is tossed, okay, what is the probability that 
is, that it is an odd number. Okay. So, listen to me. Aday, di po ito namamatay, no? Yung dai po. Dai is po ang tawag dahil dalawa yung um, itinos ng, ng mga um, perihan, di ba? Sa perya. Pero po, kapag dai lang, isa lang, isa lang ang dai. Okay? So, how many probabilities na kapag um, itos mo siya at kapag bumagsak na siya, how many probabilities that will um, yield if you are asked an odd number. Okay, so, now, I will toss a die. Tada! How many results? One, two, three, four, five, six. These are the possible results, correct? These are the possible results. Now, the question is, how much or what is the probability that um, what you will get in tossing a die is an odd number? What is the probability, Okay. So, that's the question. So, what are the odd numbers here? Let's count. Is one an odd number? Yes. Is two an odd number? Oh, pag sinabi mong yes, sampalin mo ang sarili mo. Number three, is this an odd number? Yes. Number four, is this an odd number? No. Number five, is this an odd number? Yes. Number six, is this an odd number? No. Okay? So, how many odd numbers? Let's count. Mga baby, one, two, three. There are three odd numbers. So, what to do? How many How many probabilities? Six. No? How, how many possible results? Six. How many odd numbers? Three. Therefore, we are going to say there are three odd numbers, possible um, odd numbers that will come out in tossing a die. How many possible results? Six, all in all. Now, can you find three over six in the choices? Can you find 3 over 6 in the choices? Number 4. No. You cannot find it there. Therefore, that's not the correct answer. What to do? You just have to reduce this into lowest term. So, to reduce this into lowest term, of course, you have to divide this by 3, and that will yield 1. 6 divided by 3, and that will yield 2. Therefore, therefore, 1 half is the probability that odd number will come out when you are going to toss a die. Did you get the point? Of course, you can just do that in mere inspection. One, two, three. There are three out of six possibilities. But I cannot find three over six in the choices. So I have to do three over six. Is this equal to one half? Yes. Therefore, you are just telling yourself that you are correct. So which do you think is the correct answer? Which do you think is the correct answer? It's letter A. Number 4 is letter A. Malinaw po ba? So, eto po, isang die lang po ang itinos nyo. So, may dalawang die mamaya na ito tos. Eto po yung problema, okay? Mamamatay tayo sa pagsusolve dito. Pero po kayong mag-alala dahil kapag ganun naman po yung tanungan, is madali lang po naman. The same is the otherwise. Ang tanong dito, add number. Kapag ang tinanong naman, even number, parehas pa din yung sakot kapag isang die lang ang itinos. Okay? Malinaw, malinaw, malinaw pa sa sikat ng araw. Okay? These are just the basics of general mathematics. Sige, so, tingnan ko lang po kung sumasak. Oh, nag one half na si Sir Nemsen. Ang galing proud of you po. <laughs> Thank you po, ma'am. Ayan. Ay, sa po ba? Pwede na, ba ako? Uh, pwede na po ba ako mathematics teacher? Ay, nako po. Mabubobo yung mga estudyante ko sa akin. <laughs> Kasi ang gusto ko lang naman is um, tinamban sa Bisaya. Oh, alam nyo yung tinamban. Oh, pag di nyo alam, ayan. Isa kang mahinang nila lang. Okay, so let's go to, let's go to the next item. The next item will speak about, will speak about what? Look at this one. If today, oh, eto na yung buhay-buhay natin na kailangan nating malagpasan. If today, if today is Saturday, what day is 154 days from now? O kung ngayon daw, Sabado, Sabado ba ngayon? Yes, yeah, Sabado ng gabi, di ba? What day is 154 days from now? O isolve nyo, bilangin nyo yun sa kalendaryo ninyo, go! Hindi joke lang, may formula tayo dyan, di ba? So ganito po yan. What is the given? 154 days. We are now in number 5. Oh, ito yung uh, medyo nahihirapan ako. Ayan. 154 days. Okay? And then, of course, there are 154 days that is given on the, on the 
problem. What is the question? If today is Saturday, kung ngayon po ay Sabado, ano pong araw pagkatapos ng 154 days from now? So, what you are going to do here is, of course, we are talking about here the week. Okay? The weeks. So, how many days are there in a week? Seven. Oh, simply 154, you divide it by seven. This is true to all um, questions about this one. Tutuo po ito sa lahat ng tanong kapag ang pinag-uusapan. What day is next? Basta-basta. Uh, what day is 365? Um, uh, if today is Monday, what day is next to 300? Uh, uh, basta, ganun yung tanong. Tingnan nyo lang po yung katanungan siya. Uh, sige, so how many days are there in a week? Seven. Therefore, you are going to divide 154 by 7. 15 divided by 7, that will yield 2. 2 times 7, that will yield 14. 15 minus 14, that will give you 1. 1, and you have to bearing down 4. Am I correct? Bring down ba tawag dito? Uh, yes. Okay, so 14 divided by 7, that will yield also 2. 2 times 7, that is also 14. Do we have remainder? No. Remember this one. If you don't have remainder, the answer is the same. Therefore, the cho I mean the, the problem says there, if today is Saturday, what day is 154 days from now? What day? Saturday. Bakit? Walang remainder. Walang remainder. Okay? Nagkuha niyo po yung punto. Kapag meron po itong remainder, say for example, 1. Say for example, 1. Therefore, Saturday should be plus by 1. If the remainder is 2, you have to add 2 days also. If the remainder is 3, you have to add 3 days also. But since when you divide the given to the number that represents the days of the week, which is 7, okay? And if this is 0 here or x here, and the answer is whole number, therefore, the answer is just the same with the given. Did you get a point? Did you get a point? Is my point clear? So, ganito po yan. Um, if, Saturday, if today is Saturday, what day, what day is 154 days from now? My remainder, uh, my remainder wala. Wala pong remainder. Therefore, you have to answer Saturday. Kapag may remainder, what to do? Add one day. Kapag may remainder na dalawa, add two days. That is true to all problems related to this one. Okay, 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 okay. Mag-comment lang po kayo ha, kung hindi kayo nakasabay, dahil uulitin ko naman po. We are now heading to number 6. Oh, ganito po yung math, no? Nakakamatay, di ba? Ang math po ay nakakamatay, nakakakalbo. Kaya ayaw ko sa math, no? <laughs> okay. So, number 6 po tayo, ha? In a quarantine facility... 50 or 25 of the COVID patients were asymptomatic. How many COVID patients are there in the facility? Oh, ayan. So, ito yung tanong about ratio and proportion na naman ito. Number 6, di ba? Ratio and proportion ba ito? I think it's not. We are just going to... Oh, I don't know how to call this one, but um, we just have to equate this, Okay. In a quarantine facility, there are 50 daw, 50, and this 50 is just equal to 25%. Now, the question is, how many COVID patients are there in the facility? If 50 is just 25% of the overall total of the patients, therefore, what to do? Therefore, what to do? You are just going to do this one. How many 25% are there in a hundred? How many 25% are there in a hundred? Am I correct if I'm going to say four? Hindi? How many 25 are there in a hundred? Four. 25 plus 25, 50 plus 25, 75 plus 25. That is 100. Therefore, this is true. There are four 25 in a hundred. Therefore, if the given is 50, you just have to multiply this one into 4. So, 50 multiplied by 4, that will yield 200. Am I correct? Yes. Tama ba? Oh, hindi ako magaling sa multiplication. But you look at the correct answer. Is it true that it is 200? 200 ba dyan? 
O, oh, meron naman palang 200. So, tama yung sagot natin. Okay? The correct answer number 6 is letter C. Letter C. Uh, paano ba siya sinol? Again, ang given po is 50 and 25%. Sinabi dyan na ang 50 mga... Ang 50 mga pasyente ay 25% lamang sa kabuuan. So how ma how many how many patients are there in the facility? Bakit pa nila sinasabi 'to? Ang ang hirap kasi sa mathematics, yung pinapahirap yung madali. Bakit ayaw na lang sabihin yung may ilan ba talaga yung pasyente doon? Okay? But of course you have to solve that one because pinapahirap nila. So again, 25% lang po ang 50. So if it will become 100, therefore that will give us 200 patients are there in the facility because there are 4 25s in a 100. This is the correct answer. And number 6, this is 200. Letter C. Letter C. So, let's go to number 7. Uh, ito yung problema sa mathematics. Eh. Masyado tayong madaldal. No? Marami tayong bawat, bawat punto kailangan natin i-emphasize. Dahil kapag may na-miss ka doon, mamimiss mo na po yung lahat ng, ng point. The whole point will be missed. Okay, so let's go to number 7. Number 7, the question here says, okay, read your um, question there. Okay, what about if I'm going to copy the questions on the comment box so that you can follow it using the comment box? Okay, so the questions, no, nandiyan na po sa comment box, so you need not um, see your materials, okay? You can just watch it on the comment box, kinoment ko na po siya, so andyan, tingnan nyo na lang po. And we are now going to read number 7. Are we now in number 7? Yes. What is the area of the square if one of the side is 10 centimeters? So what is a square? A square is equilateral and equiangular. Do you agree? Again, a square is equilateral and equiangular polygon. Okay, when you say polygon, it is a closed figure. Okay, so can we consider circle as a polygon? No, because it has no sides. Correct. Hmm. Closed figure with sides. Okay. Ah, ginatang sa board exam, what is the polygon that has 20 sides? Icosagon. And the sum of its sides, interior angles ba yun? 3, 2, 10. Oh, ito, tandaan nyo po yan, lumalabas din yan sa board, no? So, icosagon, 20 sides, 3, 2, 10, ang sum of all its interior angles. Correct? So, 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 may nagsasagot-sagot na dito. O oh, sige, so kopyahin na lang natin itong solution niya. But of course, I will explain how did, um... This person yield the correct answer. Number seven. What is the area? What is the formula for the area of a square? So since ang square po is um, equiangular and equilateral naman siya, so it, 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 it would be true if we are going to say area of a square is just S square. Is S square. Tama po ba? Okay? So the side should be square and that will give you the, that will give you the correct answer. So look at this one. What is the given sides? No? A equals... What is the given? 10 square. Tama po ba? So, dahil in square natin siya, then cm square, so that will yield 100 centimeter square. Madali lang po talaga, no? Kapag alam mo yung formula, pag hindi mo alam, ayan, matulog ka. Okay, so again, with that will give you 100 centimeter square. What is the formula for the triangle? 1A equals 1 half BH, okay? And then for the square, A equals S square, okay? So that is just very easy. That is for number 7, that will give you 100 for number 7, and that is letter D. Number 7 is letter D. Now let's go to number number 12. Oy, malapit na sa number 15. Oh. Bukas na naman yung other 15 ha, dahil ayan, naglalaw na ako sa mathematics. Number 15. Ah, number 13. Number 12. Number 12 pa pala. Which of the following has the greatest value? Which of the following has the greatest value? O, oh, ganito yan. <clears throat> get their decimal equivalent, Okay. You just have to get their decimal equivalent. So, 1 divide 4, that will be 0.25. 1 divide 4, 
Okay? So, si letter A, sige, examine natin yung choices. Kapag yun yung mga katanungan, ganito lang po yan. Okay? So, what is letter A? What is letter A? One fourth. What is letter B? What is letter B? One half. What is letter C? What is letter C? One third. What is letter D? What is letter D? That is one fifth. Okay? One fifth. Pag sinasabi natin ng one divide four. So, ganito lang po yan. Ganito lang po yan. Kapag, um, kapag, Ganito po yung katanungan at which is the largest yung tanong or which is the smallest. You just have to divide 1, divide 4. So, that will give you 0.25. Tama? Because 1 fourth is 0.25 of the whole. 1 half is of course 0.5. Because 1 half, 1 half of 1 is 0.5. 1 third. O, oh, eto yun. Mali, uh, mahirap po ito, no? 1 third, 1 third, 1 third. This is 0.3. Tama po ba? 0.33. And of course, uh, when you say 1 fifth, this is... How much? Uh, 1 divide 5. 1 divide 5, that is 0.2. Tama po ba? Tama? 0.2. Okay. So now, the question is, which is, anong, anong, anong siya agad dito? Which of the following has the greatest value? Or greatest ang tinatanong. So, which has the greatest value? 0.5. C1 half. So, number 12 is letter B. Okay? Number 12 is letter B. Oh, one half na naman. Okay. Number 13. Malinaw po ba yung number 12? Again, divide lang po. Ah, i-divide lang po. If the numerators are the same, you just find the denominator, smallest denominator. So, yun po yung... Another technique po, kung nakikita niyo kapag numerator nila the same, wag nyo nung po i-divide kapag hindi ka po magaling sa division. You just have to find the smallest numerator and that is the greatest value. That has the greatest value. At ang may pinakamataas na na uh, denominator, siya po yung may lowest value. O, nakikita nyo po ba? Yes. Uh, number 13, si Bongbong na nagprotesta at natalo pa rin. Ako po. Uh, number 13, Bongbong got 40% of the votes as a campus vice president. If he got 80 votes, how many votes um were casted, no? So paano ba to sasagutin? Number 13. Ah, uh, again, may 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 election daw. Wait. May election daw si Bongbong tumakbo ng vice presidente. If he got 80 votes, how many votes were casted? So yung yung 80 na yon is just 40% of the total number of votes. So how do you solve this one? If 40% is just 80, then how many 40s are there in a 100? That's the question. How many 40s are there in a 100? 2.5. Okay? I-prove nga natin. How many 40s are there in a 100? Sige. 40. And to complete the the um, addition, you just have to add 20. And 20 is just 0.5 of 40. Therefore, that is 100%. So, therefore, how many 40s are there in 100? That will give you 2.5. Correct? So, again, oh. Paano naging 2.5, sir? 1, 2, and then is this a whole number? When you speak about of 40? No. This is just 50% of 40. Therefore, that's 0.5. So, therefore, we are now going to multiply them. 80 times 2.5, that will give you, uh, ganito lang po yun, parehas po ito sa um, item kanina. Okay, so kapag mga ganito yung katanungan, ganito lang po yung gawin ninyo. So, 80 times uh, 2.5, that will give you, how much? That will give you um, 200. Tama po ba? 200. Okay, so let's try to prove this one. 2 times 0, or 5 times Zero, that is zero. Five times eight, that is forty. And then two times zero, that is zero. Two times eight, that is sixteen. Okay, so that is zero, 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 one, two. How many decimal points? Two, uh, one, only one here. Okay, so therefore two hundred is the correct answer. There are two hundred votes. Casted. If Marcos only got 80 votes, therefore natalo siya nino. Ni VP. Ah, ni VP Lobredo. Okay. So, nakuha. Malinaw po ba ito? Malinaw na malinaw. 200. Okay. Very good. Sumagot. 
may mga math major kasi ditong magagaling, okay? So again, uh, I am here for those uh, hindi talaga masyadong magaling sa mathematics at um, yung nahihirapan talaga sila. Oh. This is the process and that those uh, ito lang po yung mga technique na dapat yung ma-memorize dahil basic na naman po talaga yung mathematics, okay? Sa la lalo na sa Gen Ed. Ang math po na major ship, problema na nila yun. Oh. Sila, pero alam nyo po na ang nagtatap palagi, Biosci at Gen um, Mathematics. Kasi, um, ang mathematics kasi, pabalik-balik lang yung mga questions nila. Lalo na sa Biosci. So, sila lang po yung nag-top 1, nag-top 2 sa, sa my major ship. Ang, hindi, ang bihira pong magtatap yung AFA, yung English, yung TLE, yung MAPE, yung Values Education, sila po yung bihirang magtatap dahil napakahirap ng mga, cho, uh, ng mga question sa kanila. Bago po lahat palagi. Sa math kasi pabalik-balik lang. Sa bioscience, hindi naman po nagbabago yung whip-like, yung flap-like, yung, yung finger-like, yung... O, oh, lagi naman po yung ganon. Yung RNA, yung DNA, yung, yung cellular respiration, hindi naman po yung nagbabago. Sa TLE kasi napakarami, so sila po yung pinapatay-patay, no? May suggestion nga dyan na dapat iba yung top nature sa TLE, iba yung top nature sa MAPE, iba yung top nature sa English, para po, fair ang distribution. Kasi kapag math lang at biosay lang palagi, bakit hindi nila yan napansin? O, so, yung mga math major dito, uh, you have the greatest chances to top. But of course, you have to get 95 in Gen Ed and you have to get 90 in Prof Ed. O, para siguradong top nature ka. Okay, so we are now heading to the second to the last number. Yeah, hey, we have survived the first day. Okay, number 40. If rectangular basketball court has a length of 50 feet and a width of 20 feet, uh, what is its perimeter? Okay, so this is all about, of course, the basketball court is a rectangle. You need not to say that. Board exam question, Jen Ed, what is the shape of a brick rectangle? Uh, para naman po, may bonus kayo. So, let's solve the perimeter of A of a rectangle. So, what is the formula for the perimeter of the rectangle? So, ganito yan. The perimeter of the rectangle is equal to perimeter um, 2L plus 2W. Length here, and then width here, or breadth. No? So, ganito. What are the given? What are the given? Again, what are the given? 50 feet and 20 feet. So, therefore, you just have to put here 2 times 50 plus 2 times 20. Tama po ba? Okay, tama. So, i-multiply. 100. 100 plus 40. Okay. So, that is 100 plus 40. That is 140. Okay. So, that is 140. So, can we now find a perimeter there? 140. Oh, bakit naging peso ito? Okay. Oh, pera na ito. Naging bato pa. 140, tingnan nyo, meron ba 140 feet? Okay, so therefore, our solution is correct. Again, the formula for the perimeter of a rectangle is just P equals 2L plus 2W. L here is the length, the W here is the width or the breadth, okay? Breadth po, yung, yung lawak, no? yung wide, wideness. Okay, <gasps> no, meron na! Okay, I will also give bonuses here sa, ano, Mathematics. What is the sum of the consecutive counting numbers? So, ito yung mga bagay na ayaw, na ayaw natin kapag sum tapos napakarami. Okay, so, I will give you the greatest technique that was given to me by, of course, one of the most um, intelligent person I know in mathematics. Her name is Crystal Kuambot. Uh, galing na magaling yun sa math. Okay. So, ito yung technique dyan, guys. Okay. So, uh, ano yung katanungan dyan? Ano daw yung sum sa consecutive counting numbers from 1 to 100? Counting numbers 1 to 100. Naku po, napakarami naman po dyan. So, kailangan lang po natin i-divide. I-grupo po natin siya para hindi tayo mahirapan into two. Again, this is true to all um, givens, okay? We have to divide them by two. So, i-grupo natin sila. Group 1. Group 2. Bakit ganun, sir? Para madali nating ma-solve. Huwag ka nang magtanong. Basta i-groupo nyo lang po siya. Okay? So now, what is the gr first group? That would be 
Okay, so this is the first group. 1, 2, until 50. Because you are going to divide it by 2. To get the group, of course, you have to divide it by 2. Because there are only 2 groups to work. Correct? So 100 divide to 50. So ang 1 to 50, that will be 1, 2, 3, until, until 50. Now, in group 2, what is the um, starting number? But, I mean, what is the starting number? You are going to start with 100. Oh, sir, bakit ganun? Oh, ganyan talaga. Huwag ka nang magtanong. Okay? So, bakit? Uh, uh, kanina, ascending. Ang group 1, o oh, sige, is, isulat mo dyan, ascending. Ascending. Okay? Ang group 1 dapat ascending. Ang group 2 dapat descending. O, oh. Wag na po natin sabihin na pwede sila magbaliktad kahit pwede naman. Para po maset na yung utak ninyo. Okay? Again, ang group 1, ascending. So, ano yung ascending? Pataas, pababa, paikot-ikot pa, di ba? Again, pataas lang po, hindi pababa. So, ascending, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 50. Okay? And then, sa group 2, descending, 100, 99, oh lo, 98, and then, tada, 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 51. Now, Sir, bakit ganun? Ano po ba yung technique dyan? You just have to get the sum of them. Okay? Just have to get... To prove our equation, you just have to get the sum of group 1 and group 2. Okay? The sum of each pair. So, what are the pairs? These are pairs, no? Pairs po sila. Pair po sila. Pair po sila. So, on and so forth. Now, let's get their sum. 1 plus 100. 101. 2 plus 99, 101. 3 plus 98, 101. So, on and so forth, 101 pa rin yan. So, ano po bang point mo, sir? Therefore, you just have to multiply 101 by 50. Bakit? Bakit? Kasi true, enough yung ating pag a add sa kanila lahat. So, 101 times 50. That will give you 50-50. Tama po ba? <laughs> so, patay ka na dyan. Uh, alam ko po na nagda-doubt kayo, pero isolve nyo lang po. Tama po ito. Okay? 50-50. Uh, sige. So, eto po yung sagot. Meron ba sa choices? Number 15. Meron ba sa choices? Letter C. Pero, to prove it in a smaller scale, we have to, uh, we have to prove it by, by just getting um, smaller number. So, ang sagot po dyan, 50-50, that's letter, uh, 5,050, that's letter C. Pero, i-prove natin siya in a smaller scale. Oh, sige, 10, 10. What is the sum, okay, ganito po yung tanong. What is the sum of consecutive counting numbers from 1 to 10? I-add mo daw yung 1 to 10. Oh, sige, 1 plus 2, 3, plus, uh, 1 plus 2, 3, plus 3, 6, plus 4, 10. Plus 5, 15. Plus 6, 21. Plus 7, 28. Plus 8, 36. Uh, 36 plus 9. 36 plus 9. 45 plus 10. 55. 55 po ang sagot dito. Now, let's prove it sa ginawa nating equation. Let's divide 1 to 10 into 2 groups. Group 1, group 1, group 2. Okay? So now, what is the first group? 1 to 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What is the second group? Again, ascending, descending, ascending. The second group, descending, ascending, descending. So, 10, um, 9, 8, 7, 6. Now, let's get their sum. Or let's get the sum of the pairs. So, what are the pairs? 1 and 10, 2 and 9, 3 and 8, 4 and 7, 5 and 6. Therefore, 1 plus 10, 11. 2 plus 9, 11. 3 plus 8, 11. 4 plus 7, 11. 5 plus 6, 11. Therefore, that's true. That, um... 11 is, of course, giving us the sum if we are going to add the two groups, okay? So now, 11, what should be the number to be added, by, uh, to be multiplied by 11? Okay? What, what number? 5. Bakit 5, sir? Because there are 
five members in a group. One, two, three, four, five. Kanina, 50. Dahil, what is half of 100? 50. What is half of 10? 5. Therefore, we just have to multiply this by 5. Did you get the point? Did you get the point? So now, that will give us 55. Now, is our answer correct? Yes. Kapag ganito lang, pwede ka naman, oh sige, tinatanong sa board. Tandaan nyo po ito ha. Kapag tinatanong sa board, what is the sum of the, of, the uh, of the consecutive counting numbers from 1 to 10? 55. Pero, nalimutan mo ito. O sige, pwede mo naman gamitin ito agad. 1 plus 2. O sige, para, para kang uh, baliw dyan. 1 plus 2, sasabihin mo, 1 plus 2, ano yun? 3, 3, 3 plus 3, 6. Uh, ayan, malilito ka. So, ganito na lang. Gawin mo. Gawin mo. Okay? You just have to group them into how many? 2. The first group should be ascending, descending, ascending. The second group should be descending, ascending, descending. Okay? Kaya dahil kapag nagiging 1,000 na ito, mamamatay ka kapag nag add add ka dyan. So, bakit answer? Sige, ganito yan. Kanina, ngayong 10, i-divide natin siya ng 2. What is the answer? 5. That's why, minultiply natin si 11 by 5. Okay? Kapag ginawa natin itong 100, of course, magiging iba na to rito. Magiging 101 na to rito kanina, di ba? Kanina, pinakita natin, naging 101. Of course, 100 divide 2, 50. So, this will become 50 here. That's why our answer kanina, 50-50. 5,050. Pero kapag naging 1,000 naman po ito, iba naman po yung sagot dyan. Bakit? 1 to 100, uh, 1 to 500, and then here, 1,000 to 501. Okay? So, Ilan yung sagot? 1,001 naman dito. So, 1,001. And then, here will become 500 because in group 1 and in group 2, there consist of 500 numbers. Nakuha? Malinaw po ba? Malinaw. So, I hope that you guys are listening because um, kapag na-miss nyo po ito, ayan, mamamatay at mamamatay kayo sa pagsusolve sa ganitong mga given. Okay, again, you group them. This is ascending. You group them into two, and this group here will be descending. And you just have to add their pairs if it is true enough. Nakuha nyo po yung parehas talaga. And of course, makikita ang parehas nyo naman po talaga yan. Huwag nyo na pong iso. Itong una is tama na po. So, of course, um, that will prove our equation, no? Na madali na lang pong isolve ang, ang, ang mga ganyang katanungan kapag consecutive numbers po yung ipaad. Okay, so... We are done with 1 to 15. Namin is tinamban lang po talaga. But of course, basic na basic lang po naman talaga yung gen ed. So, wala po tayong ipag-aalala dahil basic na basic lang po yung gen ed. Okay? Maaari nyo naman po silang i-calculate by inspection. Pero, um, at least, no, makapagbibigay tayo ng ko, uh, kaunting, ano, kaunting inputs, uh, techniques on how to solve, especially um, questions that uh, are so easy yet uh, so time consuming if you don't have some techniques to attack them. So, yun po yung gagawin natin. Okay, mathematics po tayo. Hindi po ako magaling sa mathematics. Okay, so, ano lang po ba yung ginawa ko sa board examination? Minimorize ko lang po yung given. Minimorize ko lang po yung um, uh, answers. And then, lumabas din naman po siya. At yun din po yung gagawin ko sa inyo but not at as of this moment. Gagawin ko na lang po yan sa final coaching, okay? Dito po, ituturo ko po yung mga proseso kung paano ginuha yung tamang sagot. In mathematics, um, especially gen ed, you just have to study fractions, you just have to study um, work problems, you just have to study LCM, okay? LCM, how to get the LCM, the GCF, uh -uh. and then the Pythagorean, uh, Pyta or Pita, bahala kayo dyan. Uh, Pythagorean theorem or Pythagorean theorem, okay? Si C square equals A square plus B square. Uh, uh, ayan, memorize mo lang na yan. Um, ayos na po yan. Another thing is you have to familiarize the, or you have to memorize the formulas of the areas of um, the, the different polygons, especially the triangle, the square, the rectangle, and then... Of course, you, oh, you also have to study about their perimeters, how to get their perimeters. Okay? So, yun lang naman po yung mga lagi talagang lumalabas, no? Pero most um, of the time, ito po yung nasa items natin. Ito yung, uh, yung material na binigay ko po is related lang po talaga yung mga katanungan sa gen ed. Okay? 
ang katanungan po sa dyan it is related na related lang po talaga sa binigay kong material so kapag may mga katanungan ganyan you just have to utilize the techniques that I am teaching you if you don't have any techniques in mind okay so I think we are now good to start okay para po uh, matapos natin ito ng isang oras para po hindi, ta hindi tayo uh, mag-aaksaya ng uh, maraming load because 2 gigabyte lang po yung load natin sa ngayon okay 50 pesos for 2 gig malakas po kasi siya so ito po yung ginamit ko okay okay so here it goes number 16 again um the questions is on the chat box in the comment box rather you can just see it we are now in the number 16 since we are done with 1 to 15 okay i hope that you reviewed the 1 to 15 you uh, you took down notes of the things that you should remember about the discussion. Yung mga techniques lang po talaga yung mahahalaga doon. How to attack um, questions related to what you have seen on your materials. So, let's have the discussion this time around. Number 16. Let me read a question for you. And of course, you already um, have answered this one, I suppose. Number 16. If the probability that your crush, ah, that your crush has, uh, crush on you, I, ano ba to? Ah, sige. If the probability that your crush has also a crush on you is one-fourth, hmm, binigyan pa talaga ng fraction. What is the probability that he or she has not? Ayun. Kapag one-fourth lang daw yung chances na yung crush mo, may crush din sa'yo, oh, what is the probability that she has no crush at you at all. No, 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 wala talaga siyang gusto sa'yo. Sige, one-fourth lang po yung binigay, so isolve na lang po natin siya. If, okay, so ganito lang po, madali lang po to. Actually, you can just do that by mere inspection, but, um, ayan, pahirapan natin ng konti yung mga ginagawa natin dito. So, if you are given one-fourth chance na yung crush mo, may crush din sa'yo, so what is the probability that, um, she or he has no feelings on you or at you at, at all. So, wala siyang gusto talaga sa'yo sa pagbumuka mo. Is 3 fourth, no? So, again, 1 fourth yung may chance ka. 3 fourth yung wala kang chance, okay? So, again, this is all about fraction. And when you talk about fraction, we are talking about whole number 1, no? So, this is just all about, um, when you talk about, what do you call this one? Proper fraction, that means that you are talking about the numbers below the whole number 1. Okay? So, 1 fourth ang chance. So, what is the chance na wala siyang gusto? 3 fourth. But the, 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 the choices does not contain 3 fourth. So, what is 3 fourth in, in percent? Okay? So, ganito lang po yan. 1 divide 4, that will yield 0. 0.25. And 0. 0.25 is equivalent to 25%. Okay? Therefore, 3 divide 4, that will yield 0.75 or 75%. Now, can we now find 75% in the choices? Can we find 75% in the choices? Yes, we can find 75% on the choices and it's letter, letter C. Tama po ba? Tama, 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 letter C. So, to get the percentage, oh, ito yung... Alam ko po na alam na po ito ng nakararami, pero para po sa mga hindi pa po ito alam, ito lang po yan. To get the percentage of the fractions na binigay, you just have to divide the numerator to the denominator, and that will yield the decimal. Of course, you are going to get the percentage, so you just have to move two zeros, because percent means 100. How many zeros are there in 100? There are two. Therefore, you're going to move two zeros here, and that will yield 25%. The same applies to all um, proper fractions that you're going to encounter. Oh, nag-crash. Ano, nag-crash-crash na. Uh, ewan ko sa gumawa nito, okay? <laughs> Bakit nagka-crash-crash na ito, no? Parang high school lang ang peg, di ba? So now, let's proceed to number 17. And let's just enjoy mathematics, guys. Because if you are going to take this seriously, you are going to sleep, okay? Number 17. How many times does the digit 9 appears from the counting 1 to 100? Uh, you can just do this by mere inspection. Uh. 9, 19, 29, 39, 49, 59. Oh, ano pa? 59. Um, oh, nakalimutan. <laughs> 15, wait, wait, ulitin natin, ulitin natin. 
um, 9, 19, 20, 19, 30, 19, 40, 19, 59, 69, 79, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. Oh, dalawa kasi yung 99. So, eto yung um, technique dyan. Lahat po ng numero, okay, uh, tandaan nyo po ito, ha? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Lahat po ng numero, 20 times po siyang mag a kapag ito ay um, 1 to 100. Okay, so ilang beses ba nag a si 1? 20, si 2, 20, si 3, 20, si 4, 20, si 5, so on and so forth until 9. So number number 17, you need not solve it. You just have to listen to the trivia. Again, each number from 1 to 100 will appear 20 times. Letter C po ang sagot sa number 17. Okay? Number 17, letter C po ang sagot. Ah, sige, uulitin ko na lang po. Isusulat ko na lang po. Okay? Again. Oh, all. All numbers from 1 to 9 appears. Okay. Oh, appears 20 times. No? 20 times from 1 to 100. Okay? Sulat nyo lang po yan so that you will not um, find a hard time when you will encounter this uh, board examination. Pag tinanong sa'yo, oh, ha, how many uh, two, uh, ha, how many times does two appear from 1 to 100? 20 pa rin yan. Si 3, 20. Si 4, 20. Si 5, 20. Si 6, 20. Until 9, 20 times. So, sulat nyo lang po ito. All numbers from 1 to 9 appears 20 times from 1 to 100. Okay? So, number 17, that will give you letter C. Letter C. Oh, impossible naman po siguro. Nagkakamali ka dito. Number... Okay, let's have number 18. Number 18. What is the value of x? Oh, may value pa pala si x sa buhay mo, di ba? x in the equation, x a square plus 10 equals 14. So, paano ba to? Oh, sige, let's solve for x, no? Ito talagang x na to. Bakit um, nanggugulo pa to sa buhay-buhay natin? That's why many people hate math because they hated their excess so much. Oh, excess. Sana marami. Okay, so the, um, what is asked here is you're going to solve the letter X, no? You're going to solve for X. Okay, so to solve for X, you just simply, oh, alam kong may mga sensitive dito sa terminologies na gagamitin natin yung transpose, transfer, Oh, bala kayo dyan buhay na. Ah. Yung mga mathematics majors dyan, intindihin nyo po yung mga gen ed. Okay? So now, let's have number 18. Ganito lang po yan. X square, of course. Um, you just have to combine like terms. So what are the like terms in this given equation? This is 10 and 14. So you just have to do this. 14, since you, uh, you are having two... Um, I mean, you are having one like terms, 10 and 14, you just have to transfer, okay, 10 here, so that will, and of course, every time that you transfer certain number from the different side of the equation, it will also change its, um, what do you call this one, sign, okay, so, Since this is positive here, this will become negative when you are going to transfer it here. Again, when you transfer any number, any um, um, variable or number that belongs in the other side of the equation and you're going to transfer it into the other side, that will be changing its um, operation. So that will now be negative. It will now be negative. So now, can we now solve for x? No. Why? We just have to perform first the, the subtraction. x squared uh, square equals 14 minus 10. O, i-calculator mo dyan. 4. Okay? 4. So, to solve for x, x na ba ito? Hindi pa. So, you just have to square this one. Uh, square root, no? So, square root of x squared. So, this will become, chadan. Square root of 4. That is, that is, x equals, wait, x equals 2. 
O, oh, tingnan nyo sa choices. Meron bang 2 dyan? Wait, tingnan nga natin kung naintindihan ninyo. Bakit um, transfer natin ito dito? Because we are to combine like terms, okay? So, transfer natin dito. At kapag nagta-transfer ka from the other side of the equation to the other side, it will, what, change its operation or its sign, no? And then, of course, um, natira na lang si x dito, pero dahil kailangan pa natin i-perform ito, kailangan natin gawin yan. So, 14 minus 10, that will give you 4, di ba? Ito yun. Now, x square, bring down x square. Wait, is this now the value of x? No, you still have to omit number 2 there by squaring, I mean, by um, uh, putting a square root, okay? So, square root of x square, that will give you x. Square root of 4, of course, what you do here, always remember this one. Everything that you do in here, you just go, you are also ought to do it here. You should be fair, okay? That's how mathematics works because we are using equal, equality. Uh, nonetheless, if you are going to use inequalities, but that's not applicable in Gen Ed. Oh, si Ma'am Sheila, alam na alam yan. Oh, hey, Ma'am Sheila, <laughs> kung gusto mo namang uh, tumulong sa kanila sa mga math majors, ayan. Bukas palad po silang lahat, okay? So, ito na po. Ayan, x equals 2. Oh, meron bang x equals 2 dyan? Oh, so, letter A. So, number 18, the correct answer is letter A. Nakuha niyo po kung paano natin kinuha. Baka po, nalilito ka na at sumasabog na yung utak mo. Saan ba natin kinuha yung mga bagay-bagay na sinasabi natin rito? Okay, malinaw po ba? Ganito talaga yung math, guys, no? Huwag po kayong uh, malito. Okay, ganito po talaga yung math, Okay. So, x equals 2. So, malinaw naman po ba? So, let's proceed to number 19. Okay? Okay. Ayan. Hahanap tayo ng may jama. Hirap, hirap. Number 19. Okay. LCM. Oh. Tandaan nyo po ito, itong LCM na to. Lagi po itong lumalabas. Now, what is the LCM of 9 and, 9 and 36? What is the LCM of 12 and 4? Ah, basta yun, no? Basta LCM, okay, bibigyan ko lang po kayo ng isang teknik na alam ko po na nag-work sa akin. Baka po nag-work din po ito sa inyo. Okay? Sige, so number 19, find the LCM of 2, 3, and 4. Okay, in finding the LCM, what does LCM stands for? Least common, less, uh, less, ba? Okay, least common multiples. Okay, so dahil least common multiples ang hinahanap, of course, you are not going to find the largest number on the choices. But let's not just... Uh, focus on the technique, on that technique. I will just show you the, the solution, okay? Okay, how is it uh, How is it done? You just have to list down the the given. Okay, what are the given? 2, 3, and 4. 2, 3, and 4. So, ito po. Ito lang po yung ituturo ko sa inyo. So, makinig po kayo. Decomposition method po ang gagawin ko. Okay? Ang gagamitin ko pala. Okay? Decomposition method. So, paano ba yan ginagawa, sir? Okay? So, bigyan lang natin ito ng... Bra ano ba tawag dito? Bar ba ito? Okay? So, now. Hanggang sa magiging 1 po ito lahat, yun po yung gagawin natin. Okay? So, what is uh, to be divided by 2 to become... To, to, to yield an answer um, 1. So, you just have to divide this by 2. Okay, so 2 divide 2, that will yield 1, wait, wait, 1, 3 divide 2, that will yield, ah, that cannot be, so you just have to copy, again, kapag hindi po siya pwede, copy, kopyahin nyo lang po, 4 divide 2, that will yield 2, okay, so another, another, um, uh, ang tawag dito, compost pit yun, so sa heli, oh, bahala kayo sa buwan niya. So now, this is already one, so you're not going to mine this one at all, no? Hindi nyo na po siya papansinin, eto na lang po. Si 3, ano po bang kaya natin i-divide kay 3 para magiging 1 siya? 3, di ba? So 3 divide 3, oh, that's 1. So i-copyahin nyo lang po itong 1 here, and then 3 divide 3, that will also be 1. And of course, 2 divide 3, that cannot be. So, you just have to copy 2 here. Okay? So, meron pa bang hindi 1 dito? Meron pa. So, kailangan pa rin natin siyang bigyan ng isa pang pamatay na decompo decomposer. <laughs> oh, decomposers of the community, fungi. So, oh, si 1. Ayos na si 1. Si 1 din. Ayos na rin ito. So, ano bang pwede natin ma-divide kay 2 para magiging 1 siya? 2. Okay? 2. Oh, ayan. 2. So, 2 divide 2. So, kopyahin nyo lang po itong 1 here. 
1 here, and then 2 divided 2, 1. Correct? 1. So now, can we now um, get their common multiples? Yes. Because all of them here are 1. Already 1. So now, what to do, sir? How to get the common multiple? Ganito lang po yan. I-multiply nyo po itong mga numero ito. 2 times 3, 6 times 2, 12. Okay? So, 12. Therefore, the least common multiple of 2, 3, and 4 is 12. Anong ginamit ko? Decomposition method. Inilista ko lang po yung mga hiningan ng least common multiple. So, tingnan nyo po sa tanong, find the LCM of 2, 3, and 4. So, 2, 3, and 4. Anong method ang ginamit ko? Decomposition method. Paano ba ito gagawin? Okay. You just have to, to, to make them all one. Okay? How? Divide them by uh, their, um, ang tawag dito? The, the number that can divide them. So, 2, what can divide 2? 2. 2 divide 2, 1. 3 divide 2, cannot be. So, you just have to bring down 3. 4 divide 2, 2. I mean, 4 divide 2, 2. Okay? So, now, 1 na po ito. So, gagaloin mo pa ba? Hindi na. So, th si 3 na lang. So, what can divide 3 to, to make this one? 3. 3 divide 3. Tandaan nyo po ito na ang i-divide nyo po rito is not divisible anymore. No? By, um, ang tawag dito? Yung factor niya na na, na pinakamababa kasi list eh. Okay? Uh, Maiintindihan nyo po siya kapag 12 po rito tapos maglalagay ka ng 6 rito, hindi pwede yan, okay? Kailangan po, maliit, maliit, 2, 3, yung hindi na po siya kayang i-factor, okay? So, wala na po talaga siyang fa uh, prime factors. So, 3 divide 3, 1. 2 divide 3 cannot be, so you just bring down 2, okay? Another, um, gagalawin mo pa ba? Hindi na, kasi 1 na siya. Gagalawin mo pa ba ito? Hindi na, kasi 1 na, one na rin siya. So, si 2 na lang po ang gagalawin natin. So, si 2, i-divide mo siya kay 2 para magiging 1 po siya. Okay? So, now, we are now getting 1 um, here. So, ibig sabihin, pwede mo pa ba siyang ma-factor? Ma Hindi na. Okay? So, wala na siyang factors. So, therefore, eto na po yung mga numero na iyong gagamitin to get the factor. Uh, I mean, to get the LCM. So, 2 times 3, 6 times 2, 12. Ang sagot, 12. Pero alam ko po na may mga nalilito pa. O sige, eto na po yung pinakamalupit na technique. Number 19, tingnan nyo po yung item. Find the LCM of 2, 3, and 4. Now, what is the, the question all about? Least. Least common multiple. O sige. Ang tanong po dyan, least common multiple. Now, look at the choices. Look at the choices. Look at the choices. A, 12. B, 24. C, 36 D 42 Okay Now, ang tanong, list O, sinong pinaka-list sa kanila? Magsisimula kay kay 42 Ayan, huwag kang tatanga-tangahan, baby Okay? So, dito ka magsisimula kay 12 Dahil list ang tinatanong Okay? Kapag greatest, magsimula ka sa pinakamalaki So, list po ang tinatanong O, so, anong list? 12 Now, to get uh, To prove that this 12 Is um, an LCM uh, of the three uh, given numbers, you just have to divide 12 by the three, uh, on the three numbers. So, 12 divide 2, 6. So, it's good. It's, it's um, divisible. So, this is true. Now, 12 divide 3, 4. Therefore, it is still true. 12 divide 4. Is it divisible? Yes, that's 3. Therefore, 12 is the least common multiple of 2, 3, and 4. So, wag ka nang pumunta sa B kasi nakuha nyo na po siya. Okay, least yung hinahanap. Hindi, ito siyang pinaka-list. Okay, kapag LCM ang pinahanap, tandaan nyo, tingnan nyo sa choices, yung pinakamaliit na numero, siyang unahin mong i-perform. I-divide mo siya sa given. Okay? I-divide nyo po siya sa given. Malinaw. Number 19 is already killed. Let's go to number 20. Uh, Mahirap-hirap tong 20, guys. Okay. Basa muna ako ng comments. 
Aking anong crush crush? Hmm, hala, hala ka diha. <laughs> Sige, so number 20, number 20. Okay, here we go. Kim's score in four quizzes are 92, 80, 82, and 83. What score must she aim in the fifth quiz that she have that uh, so that she will have an average of 85? How to get the average, guys? You just have to add all the raw scores. Okay? So now, ano po ba ang tinatanong dyan? Ano daw yung panglimang score niya, okay, na dapat niyang makuha para ang average niya ay magiging 85? Ano yung givens? 92, 80, 82, 83. Okay? So ang tanong dyan, paano niya daw po ba, um, makukuha yung 85. So, ano yung kulang? So, ang kulang, lagyan natin siya ng letter N. O, sige, let's have this in horizontal um, setup. Okay? So, 90 plus 82. Again, kapag kumukuha ka ng mean average, or mean na nga, average pa. Kasi kapag kumukuha ka ng average, you just have to add all the raw scores. So, what are the raw scores? Tell me. It's 92, 80, what else? What else? 82 and 83. 82 and 83. Wait, what is the fifth score na kailangan niya makuha? Hindi binigay, di ba? So, you just have... Let's try, let's have a trial and error for the four choices. So, lagyan natin siya ng 85. Wait, wait. Ayaw na Okay, 85. So, three, 92 plus 80, that will yield 172 plus 82... Plus 82, that will yield 4, 5, 1, 254, plus 83, 7, um, 4, 4, 22. Now, how many numbers did we add? 5. So, we have to divide this by 5. Okay, wait for a while. Let's divide this by 5. Okay. 4, 22 divided by 5. Okay. 42, div 4 divide 5. It cannot be. 42 divide 5. 8. 8 times 5. That is 40. So, um, 42 minus 40, that will yield 2. You bring down 2. 22 divide 5, that is 4. 4 times 5, that is 22. Now, 84.2 po kapag ang in nyo po is 85. So, that cannot be. Okay? That cannot be. Now, let's try to replace this one here with 88. 88. Okay? So, 88 na po. Now, for, kanina, 337. O, oh, sige. Para, for the sake of solution lang po ito, ha. Kasi alam natin po na ang answer is 88. Okay? Ginawan ko po siya ng process, pero nawala yung process ko. Hindi ko po na, hindi ko na po nakuha yung um, 88. So, gawan na lang po natin ng paraan. Okay? So, now, 88. Gawan po natin ito ng paraan. 337. 337. Plus 88. 5, 1. 1 plus 3, 4 plus 8, that is 2, 1, 4, 25. 4, 25. Subukan nga natin ito. 4, 25 divided by 5. Okay. 42 divide 5, 8. 8 times 5, 40. Now, 2, ayan, 25. Okay. So, 25 divide 5, that is 5. 5 times 5, 25. Okay, so here it goes. Kuha na po ba? Anong hinanap? 85 yung average. Nakuha? So, will you proceed to letter C? No. Okay, so, the, eto po yung paraan na napakadali. Making use of the choices. Pero, nawala po yung formula ko. Na sinubukan uh, ko po siyang gawa ng formula, pero hindi po nakuha. Oh, eto na lang pong i-utilize natin. In getting the average, tandaan nyo po, you just have to add the raw scores. And then, pagkatapos nyo po siyang i-add, 
i-divide nyo po kung ilan po yung inad ninyo. Say for example, limang numbers ang inad natin. I-divide natin siya ng 5. Okay? That is the easiest way kapag hindi mo po siya magawa ng equation or magawa po ng um, formula, no? Self-made formula. Okay? So, okay, let's go to number 22. Madali lang po ito. Number 22, what is what is 60% of 60? Ah, oh, lagi po itong tinatanong sa board examination. Okay? What is 60% of 60? What is 25% of 9? What is 36% of ana? Okay? Sige. So, paano ba ito gagawin? What is 60% of 60? You just have to... Um, what is 60% of 60? What is given? 60. What is 60% of 60? You just have to multiply that by 0.6. Okay. Wait. Bakit nagiging 0.6, sir? Dahil si 0.6 at si 60% are two um, the same numbers. Okay? Ito si 0.6 is equal, equal, equal to 60%. Therefore, you just have to do that. Multiplication. Simple multiplication. 6 times 0. 0. 6 times 6. 36. Now, how many decimal points? 1. 1. Therefore, the correct answer is 36. Okay? So, number 22 is 36. Letter B. Ah, ba? Hmm, ganito talaga yung math, no? Nakakaantok, nakakabagot, nakaka... Oh, nakakairita. Number 23, ayan. A line is consist of at least how many points? O, oh, sige. A line is consist of at least how many points? Ito po yung pinakamadali. O, oh, sige. A line is consist of how many points? At least, at least. If there are only, I mean, if there's only one point, can you call it a line? No. So, you have to have at least two lines to call it a line. I mean, two, you have to have at least two points to call it a line. Okay? So, find two on the choices. Two, letter C, number 23. Number 23 is letter C. Okay? Number 24, number 24. In a right triangle, oh, see, in a right triangle ba? Okay. In a right triangle, okay, right triangle, o ganito yun, right kasi siya. In a right triangle, if one of its angle measures 45, what is the measure of the other angle? Oh, so ganito po yan. Um, what is the measure of a right um, angle? If you are to ask, 90. 90. Now, um... Okay. Wait, wait. Oh, sige, sige. So, now, you are going to add this by 45 degrees. Okay, may degrees po yan. And then, what's missing is letter N equals 80. Okay, tama po ba? Now, 90 plus 45. Wait. Tama po ba? Hindi pa. Hindi pa. Kailangan, po pa, kailangan pa natin itong i-transfer. Because as what I have said earlier po, kailangan po natin i-combine ang like. Um, term. So, si N na lang po rito, and then 80, um, 80 minus 90 minus 45. Okay? So, this would be N equals um, 80 minus 90 plus, uh, negative 90 plus negative 45. Yun po yung meaning dyan. So, this will yield negative 135. Okay? 135. So, N is equal to, wait, 180 pala ito, no? 180, 180, sorry, sorry, sorry. 180, okay? So now, um, ano po ba ito? Um, 180, okay, wait for a while, no? 180, 180, okay. 180 minus uh, 135, that is N equals 45 degrees, okay? Ito po yung sagot. Okay? So, malinaw po ba? 90 plus 45 plus N is equal to 180. Okay? So, again, lahat po ng sum ng angles na meron ang right triangle is 180. Okay? So, kaya po nagiging equal to 180 siya. Ano yung given? Right nga, triangle sa so 90 degrees. And then, if one of its angle also is 45 degrees, what is the measure of the other angle? So, ito po yung N. Hindi po natin siya masabi. 
So, n equals 180 minus 90 minus 45 because it transfer natin siya because they are like terms. Okay? So, now, n is equal to 180 minus 135. Bakit naging 135 ito? Negative 90 plus negative 45, that will give you negative 135. So, n is equal to 45 degrees because we are subtracting 180 to 135. Okay? So, that is letter Number 24 is letter C. Number 34, 24 is letter C. Correct. Okay. Number 25. Number 25. Find the sum of 20 consecutive positive integers. Ah, sige, kagabi, lagi ko po itong sinasabi. And the technique kagabi is, um, of course, alam nyo na po. So, uulitin na lang po ito this time around, pero ang tanong po dito is medyo iba. Find the sum of 20 consecutive positive even integers. Even ang tinatanong. 20 consecutive positive. So, what do you mean by that? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, so on and so forth. Okay? 20. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hanggang kailan kaya siya matatapos? 20. So, of course, expected na na matatapos siya sa 40. Okay? So now, how many um, consecutive even integers ang binigay? 20. How many numerical values ang kailangan mong bilangin para marating mo yung 40? I mean, marating mo yung 20 in, uh, even integers? 40. Okay? Marating mo yung 40 para lang po makuha mo yung 20 even integers. Now, the question here, ano po bang gagawin? Of course, ano yung ginawa natin? May isa pang formula dyan, pero isa lang po talaga yung ituturo ko para po mag-stick kayo sa ginawa nating technique. I-group po natin sila sa dalawa, di ba? So again, how many um, even integers? 20. So i-divide natin siya sa group 1, okay? Group 1, and then si group 2. Again, kapag nag-divide ka sa grupo, kailangan mong i-divide yan sa dalawa kasi dalawang grupo lang. So how many even integers? 20. 20 divide 2. 20 divide 2. That is 10. That is 10. So, ano po ba ang isusulat natin dito? 10. First 10 integers. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 14, 16, 18, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The first group is consist of 10 members or 10 numbers. And then, ano po ba ang arrangement dapat dito? Sinabi ko kagabi, ascending. 2, 4, 6, ascending. Sa group 2, ano naman po ang arrangement? Descending. Okay? Descending. So, saan tayo magsisimula? Kay 40. Dahil 20 ang... Um, even integers eh. So, sa kay 40 siya mag i stop Okay? So, 40. And then, what is next to 40? 38, 36, 34, 32, okay, um, 30, and then 28, and then, um, 26, 24, 22. Okay. So, nasampu na rin ba sila? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 na rin. Okay? So, again, how many um, positive even integers? 20. Group 1 is consist of 10. Group 2 is consist of another 10. So, 20 sila lahat. Group 1 should be arranged into to ascending order. And then, group 2 should be arranged into descending order. Okay? So, now, what to do? You have to add them. Okay? Add the two, um, add the groups, no? That corresponds to their, to their pair. Okay? So, 2 plus 40, that is 42. 4 plus 38, 42. So, on and so forth, 42 pa rin yung lalabas. So, ibig sabihin na there are 10 42s in a two, uh, anong tawag dito? There are 10 42s, no? So, ibig sabihin, tutuo yung ating ginawang grupo. Okay? So, now, 42 here should be multiplied by how many 42s? 10. 
1, 2, 10, di ba? Dahil ito po yun, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay? So, there are 10 42s. There are 10 42s. Okay? So, 42 times 10, that will yield 420. At ito po yung sagot. Sige. So, lagi po itong lumalabas sa board. Ito po yung mga katanungan na ito. So, dapat po natin itong ma-master. Paano ba? Okay? So, ulitin ko po. Ang tanong po sa number 25 is, you have to get the sum of the first 20 consecutive even, even integers. Okay? So, what are the even integers? 2, 4, 6, 8 na. Uh, okay? Walang 9. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, until 40. Dahil 20 yung hinahanap. 20 even integers. And that will stop at 40. So, now, how many um, even integers? 20. To, to get the uh, its sum, you have to uh, divide it by 2. 20 divide 2. 10. So, the, the group 1 should consist of 10 positive integers arranged in ascending order. Tandaan nyo po ito ha. Group 1 ascending. Group 2 descending. So, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 until 20. And then, si group 2 dahil descending siya, mag-start siya sa 40. 40, 38 until... Okay. And then, of course, you don't have to, to um, perform the operation... Because if you are going to do this at first and then at the second also, it will yield the same number. That is still correct, no? Tama na po yan. So, ganyan to po yan. 42. 2, 2 plus 40, that is 42. 4 plus 38, that is 42. Therefore, that is true to all numbers succeeding it. Therefore, you have to multiply as to how many numbers consists the group. So, ilan? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, 42 ang sagot kapag in natin itong dalawa and then you have to multiply it by how many numbers consists the group. Okay? So, how many numbers? 10. 42 times 10, that is 420. Okay? So, you just follow the the whole process at kapag ka, um, kahit 1,000 pa yan, kaya nyo po yung sagutin kapag gamitin nyo po ito. Okay? Okay? So, I think that would be good, no? Ang importante lang po dyan is kaya nyo po siyang ma-divide. Okay? Ma-divide nyo po siya. Ha? I-divide nyo po siya. And then, kapag na-divide nyo siya into two, malalaman nyo at malalaman nyo na po in the first um, groupings pa lang. Dahil dito nyo po talaga siya malalaman, no? Ito po yung starting, ito po yung ending. And 42. And how many groups consist them? Makukuha nyo po yan sa pag-divide din nyo. Okay? 20 divide 2. 10. Ang una, 42, and then i-divide nyo yung kabuuan na 20 sa dalawang grupo, that is 10 because the given is 20. So, therefore, 20 divide 2, that will yield 10. So, 42 kapag in nyo po ang first and last, 42, 42 times 10, that is 420. Okay? Ito po yung pinakamadaling technique. Okay? Ito po yung pinakamadaling technique. Okay, mathematics is very challenging yet um, some people find it ano, nabuboard sila or sumasakit yung ulo nila. Okay, so ayan, malalagpasan din natin ito guys, no? para naman po ito sa pangarap ninyo. O sige, for number 26, for number 26, ang hinahanap po dyan, i-factorize daw natin itong um, x square. x square plus 2x minus 8. O, madali lang po itong factorization. Okay? Sige. Paano ba to? Paano ba to? Number 26. Number 26. Okay. You just have to factor the... Paano ba to? Sige. So, i-split muna natin ito. Okay. x. x. Okay. And then, um, sumunod naman natin i-split itong dalawang ito. Okay? So, paano ba? Um, in, in, uh, okay, wait, wait, wait. Eto muna, okay, eto muna. Again, unahin natin ito, sunod ito, okay? So, etong, it, um, numero ito, kailangan natin siyang i-split. So, to get a negative 8, sige, pun, buta, lagyan natin ito ng negative 2. And then here, lagyan natin ng positive 4. And this is now a perfect square, okay? Sir, what is the correct answer? Ito po yung tamang sagot. Ito lang po yung pinerform natin. Okay? And ito na po yung sagot. Sige, i-prove nga natin kung makuha pa rin ba natin ito. 
kapag i-distribute natin, okay, x times x, x square, um, x times uh, 4, that is 4x, okay? And then, negative 2x, ay, negative 2 times x, negative 2x. Negative 2 times positive 4, that is negative 8. x square plus 4x minus 2x, 2x minus 8. Parehas po ba? Yes, therefore, this is true. Okay? So, the correct answer for number 26 is x minus 2 plus x, I mean, x minus, two, the quantity of x minus 2 times the quantity of x plus 4. Okay, so the correct answer is letter A. Number 26 is letter A. Okay. Uh, number 27. Number 27. Number 27. Find the distance between the points. Oh, sige. So, medyo mahirap-hirap ito dahil mataas ang formula. What, uh, find the distance between the points um, negative 2, 2, and 3, 2. Sige. Um, gamitan natin ito ng formula, ha? The distance, the formula for distance is letter, um, wait. Ay, nako. Ano ba nangyari? Okay, distance equals the square root of, okay, ma medyo mahaba-haba po ito, ha? Square root of, uh, square root of the quantity of x, my x sub 1 minus x sub 2, oh wait, x sub 2 minus x sub 1 square plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 square. Okay. Ito po yung formula. Now, what are the given? What are the given? Negative 2 and 2. Tama po ba? Negative 2 and 2. Sige. The given here is um, negative 2 and 2. And then, the other is um, 3 and 2. Tama po ba? 3 and 2. So, si x sub 2, ilagay natin siya rito kay 3. Okay? x sub 2 siya. And then, si x sub 1 naman, ilagay natin rito. Okay? x sub 1. Okay, next. Um, rito is y sub 2. Lagay natin siya rito, y sub 2. And then, siya po ay si y sub 1. Okay, so now, let's have to solve them. Square root of, okay. Medyo mahaba-haba po ito ha. So, the quantity of, so x sub 2, sino si x sub 2? 3, okay. Um, wait. Okay. Sige po. 3 minus x sub 1. What's the value? Negative 2. Okay? Negative 2 square plus ah po ba? Plus um, the quantity of 2. O oh, bakit? y sub 2, 2. Okay? Ito po siya. Minus y sub 2. I mean, wait. y sub 2. 1 na po ito. Y sub, sorry, sorry. Y sub 1. Minus Y sub 1. Ito. 2 square. Okay. So, can we now perform the operation? Okay. Here, square root of... Okay. So, i-perform natin siya. Negative 1. I-distribute natin siya. Negative 1 times negative 2. That is positive 2. Okay. So, 3. Um, so, the quantity of 3 times... 2 square. Okay? Wait. Wait. Hindi na po siya multiplication. Addition. Bakit aging addition? Dahil positive na siya. No? Negative times negative equals positive. So, 3 plus 2 square. Sorry. Square. Okay? Plus. Oh, sige. Perform natin ito. 2 minus 2, that is 0. Square, okay? So, next. Equals. Sige. 3 plus 2, that is 5. 5 square. Plus 0 times 0. 0, okay? So, now, 
Um, paano ba to? Uh, bring down 5 square. Okay, so, 0 naman na ito. wag na natin siyang isulat para magiging shortened na siya. Sige. So, square. So, cancel. Cancel the square, uh, the square root symbol. So, this is now 5. So, the distance, okay, the distance for negative 2 and 2, and then um, 3 and 2, they are the given points. The distance between them is 5. Okay? Again, you just have to memorize the formula. D equals x sub 1 minus x sub 2 square, and x sub 1 square plus y sub 2 minus y sub um, 1 square. And that will give you the correct answer, which is number 5. Okay? So, ayan. Kaya pa ba? Kaya pa. Whew. That is letter, um, what number? Number 27 is 5. Okay. So, letter B. Number 27 is letter B. Okay? Number 27 is letter B. Sumusuko na ang aking pencil pen. Okay? Number 27 is letter B. Again, you just have to memorize the formula for the distance if you are asked about the distance, okay? Sige. Okay. Number 28. Ay, last, third to the last number. Find the midpoint of the line given its coordinates. So, hello. Patay na. Okay, number 28, ano daw ang, pina, ang hinahanap dyan? The midpoint, okay? Yung pinakagitna na, na point, okay? So, um, paano ba yan isusolve? Okay, let's have ganina distance. Ito naman po yung formula sa midpoint. Okay, the formula for the midpoint is M, okay, uh, midpoint, midpoint po, midpoint equals the quantity of X sub 1 plus x sub 2 okay um ano po ba over 2 over 2 ayan okay and then y sub 1 plus y sub 2 over 2 okay and close them with a close and open parenthesis and then i perform natin sila so tingnan natin yung given points okay you look at the given points. What are the given points? Negative 2 and 2. Okay? And then, 3 and 2. So, ganito po yan. Si x sub 1. Ah, sige. Isulat natin dito si negative 2 and 2. And then, si 3 and 2. Okay. So, let's trace them. Si x sub 1 rito ay si negative 2. Diba? Parehas kanina. And then, si x sub 2 rito is, of course, si positive 3. Si positive 3. Para saan po kanina sa distance, okay? Uh, to trace them. Now, si y sub 1 rito ay si positive 2. Okay? So, ito na po siya. Y sub 1. And then, si y sub 2 rito ay si positive 2 still, no? Now, try to substitute them x sub 1, that is negative 2 plus 3 over 2. And then, um, 2 plus 2 over 2. Okay, so, perform them. Negative 2 plus 3, that is 1 half. And then, 2 plus 2, 4 plus uh, 4, 4. 4 divide 2, that is 2. So, this is now the midpoints, okay? Again, the midpoints for um, negative 2 and 2 and then 3 and 2 is 1 half and 2. Look at the choices. 1 half and 2. What letter? What letter? Number 28 is letter letter A, okay? So, the number 28 is letter A. Again, this is the formula of the midpoint. This is the formula of the midpoint. Sulat nyo lang po. Getting the midpoint, kapag ang tanong midpoint, ito po yung formula. At kapag distance naman po, ito yung um, preceded by this one. Okay? So, malinaw. Number, nine, number 29. 
Number 29. Ay, naku, mathematics. Malalagpasan ka rin namin. Okay? Number 29, the question here says, A, a deck of cards is drawn from a standard... Ay, a card is drawn from a deck of cards. No? So, standard meaning 52. What is the probability that it is a face card? Okay. What is the probability that it is a face card? Tandaan nyo po na ang may muka is jack, queen, and king. Meron bang muka si number 10? Wala. Okay? So, now, tatlo ang may muka. Tandaan nyo po na meron yang kamunggay, spade, um, hearts, and then diamond. So, there are three, and each one of them has four kinds. Okay? Four colors. I mean, should I say color? Shapes, no? Oh, my heart, diamond, um, kamunggay, malunggay ang tawag sa amin dyan eh. So, spade. Okay? So, 3 times 4. So, each one of them is consist of 12. Okay? Faces. I mean, each one of them is consist of 4 faces. Jack has 4 faces. Queen has 4 faces. King has 4 faces. Therefore, 3 of them should be multiplied by 4. Because each of them has four faces. Therefore, we will yield 12. And the standard deck of cards is consist of how much? How many? How many? The standard deck of cards is consist of 52. 52 cards. So, therefore, 12 over 52. Now, do we have an answer there? 12 over 52. Meron ba? Meron ba? Wala. Therefore, we have to divide this by... Okay, divide this by 12, divide this by 12, that will yield how much? How much? Tama ba? 12? Wait. Okay, hindi po siya 12 eh. 4 ata. Pwede siya sa 4, okay? Pwede siya sa 4, okay. 12 divide 4, 52 divide 4, pwede ba? 12 divide 4, 3, 52 divide 4, this is 13. Therefore, the correct answer is 3 over 13. Number 29 is letter C. Number 29 is letter C. Okay, nakuha niyo po ba? Bakit po i-multiply natin siya ng 4? Dahil bawat isa sa kanila may iba't ibang shapes. Si Jack merong queen, uh, jack of hearts, jack of spade, jack of diamond, jack of malunggay. And then sa queen naman po is the same. So, apat, bawat sa kanila may apat na muka. Si Jack may apat, si queen may apat, si king may apat. Ilan sila lahat? Tatlo. Ang bawat isa sa kanila may apat. So, 3 times 4 is 12 faces. Okay? And then, how many cards are there in a standard deck of cards? 12. 12 divide 52. That will yield, I mean, 12 over 52. And then, since there are no 12, 52 in the choices, you have to reduce it to the lowest term. Tandaan nyo po ito. You have to reduce your answers to the lowest term. 12 divide 4. 3. 52 divide 4. 13. Again, you, back it 4. Kasi you have to find a number that is divisible by the numerator and also the denominator. Okay? So, this is 3 over 13. Last number! Yee! Oh, etong 22 na itong nanunood. Mga fighter sila. So, number 30. Number 30. Number 30. Okay. What is the area of a rectangular lot? If its dimension is 400 by 200 square meters, express it in hectares. Okay, napakadali lang na po naman. O, sige. O, how many hectares? Okay, so ang hinahanap, hectares. So, ganito po yan. You just have to... Okay, wait lang po. 